Hello, my friends, it's Joey. Welcome to another Fun Day Monday. Today, we're going to learn how to draw this awesome budgie. Every Monday and Saturday, we post new art tutorials for you to follow along with. And I will let you know at the end of this video how you can enter to win this awesome bird kit from 25cats.com. If you like this video and you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. That way you'll never miss a Monday or a Saturday drawing again. Today's video is inspired by one of the in-studio workshops we're doing in February. This workshop's called The Love Budgie. It's one of our shorty workshops, which means it really doesn't take too long to do. This workshop has all the good stuff. Brightly colored ditto clay, step-by-step -step video instructions, and all the tools and materials that you'll need. Speaking of tools and materials, I wanted to let you in on a little secret. On February 14th, 2022, we're going to be posting a special watercolor tutorial. And if you don't have watercolors, don't panic. We've got you. You can visit 25cats.com and get yourself this watercolor bundle. Viewers of this video can also get 20% off their watercolor bundle. The code to get the discount will be in the description. The sooner you order, the quicker we can get the watercolor supplies to you. And now back to the budgie. Each month, we introduce eight new workshops in the studios. The Love Budgie is part of our February collection. Our shorty workshops are short, and that means they can be done in about an hour or an hour and a half. Alongside with the budgie, we also have this awesome koala workshop. We are dreaming of sunnier days, and that's why this February, we introduced this collection called the Sunny Place Collection. You can learn how to paint this awesome I Dream in Color painting, or try your hand at different mediums with our Koi Pond Workshop. And to celebrate Valentine's Day, we've introduced our Together Collection. Come solo or bring somebody special to create this awesome love snack chip and dip bowl, or create this awesome porcelain heart bubble mug to bring some sunshine and happiness to sometimes a gray or dull February. We also have our happy collection. Make a happy planter or a happy painting to inspire some joy. And if you can't make it to the studio, don't worry, we have this awesome bird sculpting kit on 25cats.com. You could also check out our Etsy store where we have lots of these projects for sale. Today, I asked my good friend Kathleen, Queen Kathleen, if you're fancy, to show you how to make this awesome budgie drawing. She's a bird expert, also called an ornithologist. And as a bonus, we've also created some awesome coloring pages for you. The link to the coloring pages will be in the description box below. Okay, take it away, Kathleen. Have fun, everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen, Queen Kathleen if you're feeling fancy, and I'm so excited to tell you all about budgies today. Budgie, short for budger agar, is a small type of parakeet. So all budgies are parakeets, but not all parakeets are budgies. Budgies have lived in Australia for more than 5 million years. They're some of the smartest birds and, like a parrot, can mimic and copy the sounds that people make. It's almost like they can talk to us. That's probably why budgies are the world's most popular pet bird. They're the third most popular pet ever behind cats and dogs. Budgies are super popular because they're really affectionate. They love to be near people. They know the sounds of their owner's voices and they recognize their faces too. You know a budgie likes you when it tries to sit on your shoulder. That's why some people call them love budgies. But they are a different species than lovebirds. Lovebirds are parrots. Even though budgies are small and only about 20 centimeters tall, they're covered in over 3,000 feathers. Budgies can also control their eyesight and see out of one eye at a time. This comes in handy in places like Australia, where it's wide open space as far as the eye can see. Now, if you're ready to use your eyes to learn how to draw and color a budgie, we can get started. Gather some different art supplies. You'll need things like a pencil, an eraser, a sharpener, and something to color with. Okie dokie, artichokies. The very first thing we need to do with our budgie drawing is break it up into all of the different shapes that make up this drawing. So some of those shapes are gonna be obvious, some of them are not going to be as obvious, but don't worry, I'm gonna take you through all of them. 
The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the budgies head, the pair of budgies. Everything in this one is so nice. We're going to do it twice. And each one of the heads is actually made up of a circle and you can find that circle right here. So what we're going to do is sort of like in the middle of our page, a little bit taller than that center line, we're going to be adding two circles to the middle of our page to start off the pair of budgies heads. Okay, so I'm over at my paper here and I really want to find that middle area of my paper. So I'm gonna draw a very, very faint, very light line on the paper, just right down the middle, just so I know where that kind of middle area is. And then on either side, I'm just gonna draw a circle. So one nice big circle about the same size as a toonie over here. And since that was so nice, I'll do it twice. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, another toonie size circle for a pair of budgies heads. Okay artists, now that we have those heads plotted out, the next thing that we're gonna do is we can add a little body on there and just like we did with the head, we're gonna press really, really lightly. It's important that we press lightly with our pencil because then we can very easily erase, especially when working with pencil and we're learning how to make a drawing, we're gonna make mistakes. That's how you learn and grow. Just grab an eraser, erase any mistakes that you do make and then if you've pressed really lightly, it's really easy to get rid of it. Okay, so the next shape that we're going to create on our budgie is going to be the body of the budgie. And the body of the budgie kind of is like a triangle with a curve on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of curve a line, almost like a really long letter J on the bottom, and then I'll match it on the top too. So without further ado, let's learn how to do that together. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in with my pencil and really lightly, I'm gonna bring a line down, curve it, and bring it out over this way. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside of that um, budgie. So that same curve, and I'm gonna make them meet at the end. And since that was so nice, I'll do it twice. I'm gonna do the same thing, but a little different. I'm gonna do it opposite direction on this side. Okay, so you can see that kind of curve happening right about here and extending all the way to the end of the tail. Perfect. Okay, now that we've done that, we've got an extra line here from our circle when we made the head. So just go in with an eraser and you can just erase any lines that didn't quite work out or weren't what you needed or aren't really exactly what you wanted, such as the guideline in between the head and the body. And just go in and erase that and just wipe away any like eraser debris erase their middle line there. We don't really need that anymore. Just go in and erase all of those extra lines just so we don't forget that we don't really need them anymore. I don't want you to get to a point later where you're like, oh my gosh, is this part of it? I don't know. Just erase it now and then touch up any lines you need with your sketching pencil again. And of course, if you erase too much, just go in with your pencil and touch it up. Okie dokie, artichokies. The next thing that we're going to do is add some of the face details to our pair of budgies. So these shapes are pretty, pretty similar to what they're gonna look like at the end. That is like a triangle for the beak and circles for the eyes and kind of like ovals for like cheeks and patches and things. So let's draw those. So we'll start off with just an upside down triangle or a triangle that's pointing down in the middle of our face, just like this. And then I'm just gonna add a little rim right to the top as a little extra detail for now. And then on either side of my little nose there, I'm just gonna add a little circle, about this big, and that'll be the budgie's eye. You can also mark the inside of those eyes too, if you wish. And we can add some little nostrils on the beak. And then we can do it all over again on our new other budgie.
Okay, touch up any of those lines, go in and erase any extras that we don't need anymore. Fix anything if you make some mistakes like I sometimes do. That's why we work in pencil and we press really lightly. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to touch up these little lines here and then we'll move on to our new next detail for the budgie. Okay, now that we've got those facial features finished, that was a mouthful there, tongue twister. The next thing that we can do is we can start to add the shape that makes up the budgie's wing. So that shape eventually is gonna kind of be like an upside down and sideways raindrop. So start by making a little curve and bring your line over and then a curve here and ending in the same spot and erasing the inside of the bird because budgie's wings are not see-through that I know of yet. One other quick thing we can do once you have the wing on there is you can add a little scalloped bottom for the face. And it's just kind of like a bunch of U's that are strung together. So let's do the same thing on this budgie over here. That upside down and sideways raindrop. And some scalloped little U's to make up the head. Okay, touch up and erase anything you need to. Okay, up next, let's add some of those smaller details. So things like the further wing and the little claws and toes. So these birds are slightly different, so I'm gonna add a wing to just one of them. So just starting right at the base of the neck, I'm just gonna do a little curved line here to show that wing that's sort of hidden behind. You can erase with your little end of your eraser or a full block if you need to. And then we can just touch it up. And then on the like curve of the body, we can add some little um, ovals to make some little feet. So just right about here, just add a little oval and then another one behind it. If you need to erase to touch it up, that's okay. And then we'll do another little set over here too. There we go. And then we'll try and match that on the other side too. And a second set over here. Oh, perfect. Okay, have fun adding and erasing any of those extra lines of your little feet for your budgies. Now we know that each budgie has about 3,000 feathers on its body, but I feel like that's a lot of feathers to draw. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna add some like short little lines and like little areas of detail all around the budgie to show that there are feathers there without drawing 3,000 of them. If you wanna draw 3,000 individual feathers, by all means, be my guest. I can't wait to see your picture in like a month from now. But if you'd like to do it a little bit quicker like I'm gonna do, then I'll show you what that looks like. So just really lightly with your pencil, we can go in and we can add like a little oval in the middle. And then maybe some marks off to the side too in little circles. Same thing on this budgie. And 
And then we can go in and we can add some little cheeks too. Little round cheeks on each one. And they can be like circles like this or they can be a little bit more of an oval. You're the boss applesauce. You can kind of change it and make each bird like a little bit unique if you'd like. And then we can go through it and we can start to add little tiny little marks all throughout that just give that feather texture to the bird. And if you want, you can also add some feather texture to like just the wing as well. So maybe a little bit of like a curved edge or like a scalloped edge or like a design or a detail. For like this one, you can do kind of like some hearts if you want to. So here's an example of what those might look like when they're finished. I also have a scalloped feather on the other budgie, and I'm also gonna add some feathers to the tail end of that as well. So to add some feathers to the end, it's just kind of like long arches, right attached to the end, just like this. Start with a few, like three, and then you can add more behind there if you want to, like a fourth. You can add another layer if you wish. Just to make those wings a little bit more interesting to look at with all those feathers on there. Okay, and then I just need to touch up the bottom of my budgie before I start to add those short little lines all around that will give that feather illusion on my budgie. So just a few, not too many. And then since that was so nice, I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna do the same thing on this budgie here. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in those little details. I'm changing the wing just a little bit because no two budgies are ever the exact same. It's kind of fun to do different ones. I'm adding some little extra feathers on the wing of this one before I add some more feathers to the tail end. And then same as before, just adding those little feather marks kind of all along the belly. Okay, and then last but not least, we'll also want somewhere for our budgies to sit. I'm gonna do a nice big oval that they're sitting in. So we can draw a nice big oval, starting from behind the budgies, down and around. Gently, don't forget that little line in the back. And then down and around here too. And once you've drawn that nice big disc around your budgies, have fun kind of touching up your picture, erasing any little spots, going over, adding details, taking details away. You're the boss applesauce. You can make it look however you'd like because the next thing we're gonna do is make this drawing permanent with an outline. Okie dokie artichokies. Now that all of my lines are on here and I'm ready to make it permanent, I'm gonna grab a pen 
I'm gonna use a pen because that's what I have at home, but you could also use a marker if that's what you have too. And I'm just going around and I'm just going to make all of those lines nice and permanent on my picture with my black pen or my black marker. And slowly but surely, I'm just going to outline and trace all of my lines that made up my picture. Okay, now through the magic of movie making, I can speed this up so you can see what it looks like when it's all finished. Here we go. And we're done outlining, congratulations. It looks so good. Now I can go in with my eraser and I can erase any of those pencil lines that I don't need anymore because the next thing we're gonna do is color this. Okay, we're finished erasing and it's time to choose all of the fun colors to fill your budgie drawing with. I'm gonna be using markers because that's what I have at home but if you wanted to use pencil crayons, crayons, markers, whatever you have, I can't wait to see what you do. Let's start coloring.
and we're done. Congratulations. I hope you had so much fun learning how to draw and outline and color in these budgies, as well as learn some really cool facts about budgies. We can't wait to see you back for your next project. Bye for now. Thanks, Kathleen. That was awesome. And I hope your pictures turn out amazing. If you would like to enter to win one of these awesome bird sculpting kits, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell me in the comment your favorite bird fact and send a picture of your drawing to hello at fourcats.com. If you wanna send your drawing directly to me, you can send it through Instagram at fourcatsstudio. Thanks everyone, and I will see you next time for our next awesome art tutorial. Bye.